Hello everyone. Today I'm going to introduce one of the features of the DC Data Campus. The feature is uh, Shadow Disk. Shadow Disk is a very, very important feature in DC. And now we have a diagram showing you how the Shadow Disk is connected to the PC and how DC is connected to, to the PC as well. So now, now you can see you have a Shadow Disk directly connected to your PC. So at the same time, your DC is attached to your PC as well, and your source disk is attached to your DC. So um, basically, the shadow disk is going to be an independent disk. That is, uh, you can use like a removable disk or your uh, normal hard drive to use a shadow disk as well. So now we're going to open the program and show you uh, these functions. Okay. Okay. Now you can see. Uh, now we have open program. Now we're going to introduce your uh, the shadow disk in DC program. Now you can see the interface of shadow disk. And uh, up to your left is your source drive. And to your left, uh, to to your, to your right, sorry, to your right is shadow disk. So now, if your shadow disk you connect to your PC, you can choose your shadow disk. Okay, right now we have this drive, and we have selected. And the system, we automatically get its uh, LBAs, initial LBA and LBA. So your 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 shadow drive, the, the capacity it must uh, larger, the LBA must be larger and larger than the an LBA. And uh, yes, okay, that's it. So. Uh, then the next step you do is to initialize the shadow disk. Okay, it's, it's, it's necessary to initialize shadow disk because during this process, the system will uh, be configuring the reserve area, index area, and shadow data area of shadow disk. Okay, so the initialization is created on the PBT, which is a primary partition table in MBR. And uh, at the same time, the DBR and the backup DBR will be cleared. Okay, now 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 this notice here says, make sure there is nothing important on your shadow disk because everything will be wiped off after you click the the OK button. Okay, now the process is going on. Okay, now it's finished. And now next thing you do is to enable the shadow disk. Because the shadow disk has to be enabled, then the read and write function then can be used at that time. Okay, now it's enabled. And the, to your right, the work condition actually is information shadow disk. Is this a system, the DC system can give you of a uh, several information of the shadow disk. Now the first driver edition then it is uh, the, the the information obtained by, by DC on the driver edition, which is DC is used to, is using currently. And uh, the shadow disk write then is the indication that shows the number of sectors successfully re recovered from source drive and then written to a shadow disk. And uh, and the current LBA is, of course, shows the LBA that's been that currently being being read. And the source drive read it shows your number of sectors that read from source drive. The shadow disk read that shows the number of sectors successfully read and recovered from source drive. And sector number, the indicator shows the number of sectors being read on time. Okay. So this so this logic is like uh, we have successfully read the data to your source disk. So next time the shadow disk will read the same data, it goes directly to the shadow disk, not from the, the source drive anymore. So it's like a kind of a logic to protect the the source drive. Okay.
especially when you have a very severe uh, back sectors. So uh, then here is driver set. Um, okay, there's several also uh, several options. So first one, uh, focus on unread sectors. So this process will reread all the sectors that have been reported as non-read sectors. Okay, this is what basically it does. So the process, this process will verify the indexing in the data area and only focus on sectors that were not possible to recover during the first pass. Okay, the second one is focus on read sectors. Okay, so it reads only the sector which have been successfully imaged to the shadow disk. It is only necessary to perform this operation if all data from the source drive have been successfully read into the shadow disk. And ignore the first 100 sectors. Okay, the DC uh, will scan the source drive at, at, and identify the operation system and the drive's partition table information. So if the drive with the damaged partition table information, then it will cause the system to freeze or hot. So, so to increase the read speed from source drive, it is possible to ignore the first 100 sectors because the first 63 sectors are reserved for the partition table information, which is MBR. The MBR occupies the first 63 sectors. This will allow this option, this process will allow the system to ignore the reading of the first partition, which will prevent the operation system from freezing or hotting when trying to access the partition due to bad sectors. This will increase the read time of recovery process. An intensive read that intensive read will increase electronic current supply to the magnetic head. So this feature is used to recover data in an area of known back sectors for physical damage. The intensive read can recover data in these sectors and at the same time cause further damage to the sectors being read or, or the head. So this is not recommended to read the entire drive entire drive using this feature. It is recommended only to, re, uh, to use this feature where the data on the drive that is not possible to obtain under normal read function. And ignore the shadow disk. So if this selected, it will ignore the data that was stored in the shadow disk. The system will perform a direct read from the source drive and the index records and the data area will be initialized and written to the same as starting initializing the wind shadow disk the first time. After creating the initial shadow disk, the client has indicated data and the drive was altered. It is possible to reread the entire drive and start a new shadow disk image. So this is a, a brief introduction of the shadow disk and also some several options it has. Hope this will help you.